You've come here because you're probably doing exercises like this, 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 and probably wondering why you haven't seen any significant results in your mobility over the last few years. Whilst these exercises have a place in mobility to increase range of motion at the early stages, if you really want the mobility to carry over into your Olympic lifts, we need to start adding load and specific exercise. But that brings me on to one of my key exercises that I absolutely love to introduce if you struggle with overhead mobility, and that is the soft press. Now, the soft press can be done at all different heights. We're gonna start from standing to begin with. Taking the barbell up overhead, like I said, I'm focusing on letting my wrist sit back and the shoulders staying externally rotated. Getting comfortable in this position is super important if you're the master snatch. From here, we're lowering the bar back down to the shoulders, keep the elbows directly underneath the bar, and then pressing into the overhead position. Once you've mastered it from standing, what you can then begin to do is go down halfway into a squat position and perform the same movement. What I'm focusing on is keeping my lower body as still as possible whilst going through this exercise. So what we aim for with this exercise is doing three to five reps at each height. So if you found the overhead position challenging when you're doing the soft press, then I want you to try this. This exercise is called ride backs. Place a wall ball into your lower back and then take a five kilo disc up and above your head like so. I'm putting the flats on my hands underneath the plate as I do this. From here, I'm letting the arms go back to the point that back behind the head. Midline to work in overtime here. And then I'm rocking you back in front like so. This is start to free up that chest and the shoulders for that overhead position. The next common struggle that I see people finding when they're doing cleans when it comes to shoulder or front ramp mobility, when they're catching in the clean, the shoulders rolling forward. Now, to get into a good position from here, not only do we need to keep the spine in a neutral position here and have great range of motion in the ankles, the foot positioning plays a huge part in this. The feet are too narrow, your lowest of my back rounds and it makes it difficult, no matter how the mobility is, to stay upright. So finding the optimal foot position here so that the knees can track out over the toes or we make enough room for the hips to sit between the ankles is what's really gonna help before we even worry about addressing the shoulder mobility. One thing you can do is exercise called tail squats. What I would suggest doing is placing the plate first of all on the floor in order to find your start. This will give you a really good indication of where the feet need to be, at least in certain width, for you to be able to get into a good receiving position. From here, you're gonna put that plate up, take it up over the head and drop it behind like so. We're focusing on driving the head back towards the plate and keeping the elbows high. So that when we go down into our box position here, we're maintaining that good upright chest position whilst keeping good width in the feet so we can stay upright. Next drill this awesome for opening up those hips with a squat position called the hip snapper hold. Now you'll notice with a lot of the exercises and drills I'm doing here in relation to weightlifting are pretty intense. The key thing is we want to be mobile and alone. And as you know, getting into the positions of weightlifting is also intense. So the rep, the exercises have to replicate that intensity. What we're focusing on here is pulling the toes towards the shins to replicate what's happening in the lower body where we're squatting. I'm trying to keep my bum down and sing as upright as possible. I feel this in the top of the hip here. You'll notice how my knee stays down and my toes point up to the sky. People blame the range of motion in their wrists a lot for not having a great front rack. And whilst this does play a part, it's not the key thing that's actually stopping you from achieving a good front rack. A good front rack starts with having a good foundation for the bar to sit on. And that means bringing the shoulders up and forward so the bar is actually resting up on top of the shoulders in this front rack position, rather than taking any excessive load through the wrist. So we're thinking up and forward. I want you to notice how that even though my shoulders are up and forward, my scapula is the same back together, my lats are engaged to maintain this good platform here. Now things that will affect your ability to create this platform is the width of your grip. But why do you grow with your grip here? The more likely the bar is to slide off the shoulders, the better your thoracic mobility has to be. To make it easy for yourself, narrow your grip, and it'll make it easier to create this good platform. Once we've found that grip, the next thing we need to address is this elbow position. Now, things that will restrict you in this position is obviously things like tight lats, triceps, but like I said, also thoracic mobility. So I love this drill here, we can do called anchor squat. Again, super relevant to the clean. From here, you're gonna take a narrow grip, drop the barbell back behind the head like so, so it's hanging away from the body. And from here, you're gonna progress down into your squat. This is gonna get you used to keeping those elbows nice and high into the bottom position. It's ultimately gonna carry over to you being nice and upright in the clean. If you're finding it difficult to get those elbows up, another great drill that we can do, either with a PVC pipe or a barbell, is take a nice shoulder width grip on the PVC like so. From here, you're gonna find yourself a bench and you're gonna pull those elbows together like so 
and rest them on the edge of the bend. From here, what you're gonna focus on doing is actually dropping the head down and pop that head through like so, and feel that stretch down in the lats. Holding for a split second, and then coming back through. So I like to utilize close grip overhead squat and front rack salt press for my athletes that find that front rack position challenging. So, just to be clear, the close grip overhead squat starts as narrow as possible from here. Arms go locked overhead, and then you'll continue down into a bar position. This will really help you get used to keeping the torso upright when you go down into the bottom. The other exercise I do from here is the front rack salt press. Again, super challenging like the snatch one, but super helpful if you've already got good range of motion, but you're not strong in it. So as you'll start to understand now, first step is gaining the full range of motion. The next step after that is strengthening through it. This is what's ultimately gonna allow you to take the mobility that you have and carry it over into excelling in Olympic weightlifting. This is the key thing that most people miss out on when they're trying to turn their good range of motion or the mobility that they have and make it apply in the Olympic lift. All great Olympic weightlifters have really good mobility generally. And this, a lot of the time, is something that has been developed from starting weightlifting at a super young age. For the vast majority of us now getting into Olympic weightlifting, that mobility isn't there anymore. The day-to-day -day lives or desk jobs or sedentary jobs is meant that our mobility is tightened up and it's now really challenging to get into Olympic weightlifting. I think it's clear that there's not one specific exercise that you need to be doing when it comes to getting mobile for Olympic weightlifting, but ensuring that you're doing ones that are specific weightlifting is gonna give you the biggest bang for your buck. I always suggest spending 15 to 20 minutes pre-workout going through your mobility drills before you get into the exercise. This is gonna mean that you're gonna be increasing range of motion before you load through it. And then finally, once you've got that good range of motion, you need to start utilizing drills and exercises that are gonna allow you to actually strengthen those ranges. And this is what's gonna give you long lasting effects and allow you to achieve some of the amazing positions that you can in Olympic weightlifting, like that full snatch or even a squat jack. I hope you enjoyed this video. Share it with all your friends that also struggle with mobility. And of course, if you need any further help and support with your mobility, make sure you go and check out the mobility manual.